Hello everybody, E here. Welcome back to another book review. This is the very odd uh, ebook review you'll see from me. So I don't have a cover for it, but today we're talking about Aether Christ uh, by Kirk K. Jones. He goes by, I think, at Bizarro Jones over on Twitter. Um, in case I forget to link to his stuff down there in the doobly-doo. Uh, I picked this up on a whim because I, I actually absolutely fell in love with the cover. I believe it was on sale um, the same day that I picked up Anderson Prunty's new one. The Neon something? I can't remember the, the name of it, but uh, I bought that one and then Aether Christ was uh, recommended to me. So I went ahead and bought that too. Um, it was re really, really cheap. Can't remember if it was $1.99. 99 cents, 2.99, something like that. I don't believe it was over 2.99. Um, I should have gotten the paperback because I enjoyed this so much. Now I have to go. I don't have to, but now I want to go and buy the paperback just because I want a physical copy of the book. Uh, I didn't want to have to wait for the review um, in case you know things start to disappear from my mind as they are wont to do. Uh, so I'm going to go ahead and jump into the review. I love the book. Uh, from the get-go. The writing here is very clean and precise and oddly enough it reminded me a lot of Chuck Palahniuk. My review on Goodreads says this is like you mix Chuck Palahniuk with David Lynch doing a Twilight Zone episode. In fact on Twitter I think it said uh, this is what you get if Chuck Palahniuk fucked David Lynch on the set of a Twilight Zone episode is what I think I said on Twitter. Um, is it's a fantastic ride uh, as far as you never know what's coming. Uh, I really appreciate books that do that, especially nowadays when everything is pretty formulaic. Um, you look to the indie market for new and innovative stuff that uh, the big publishers won't touch, but then you also run the risk of you know, coming across unedited garbage. I'm proud to say that this is not the case here. Um, I, and I'm also not 100% sure if this is, if, if Jones, Kirk, whatever you want me to call you, um, if, if he published this by himself or if it was published by a publisher. Uh, if it was, I apologize. Uh, indie small press these days, those lines are really blurred because uh, you have stuff coming out of Sinister Grin uh, Press and Dead Eye Press that reads just as awfully as uh, indie stuff, you know, unedited garbage. And then you have stuff like uh, Flame Tree Press doing amazing stuff and producing very clean manus well, very clean products. So you got you know some of the other. You really have to pick and dive. This one, I'm if nothing else, if you are as annoyed as I am with the lack of editing going on in the indie scene, and that's been since the dawn of time, uh, since the first person published the first thing through a vanity press that has been going on. This is not something new that, you know, Amazon, it just made it more prevalent. Kind of like, you know, assholes have always been around, social media just gave them a platform. Um, but th this book, like I said, if nothing else, if you want to go into a very clean experience that you can read without your inner editor kicking in, I'm wondering how the author got through, you know, basic grammar in uh, elementary school, then this is definitely a book to pick up and try out. Now, if you like extremely weird stuff, this is another, this is another reason to grab this book. It's a very strange premise. Um, it's about a dude who ends up, uh, I don't want to give away too much, but he, he starts seeing himself on TVs. Um, and that's all I'm going to tell you because the ride is amazing because I had no idea where it was going. Um, I didn't even read the description. Um, I do know that I got it because of the cover. I mean, if I'm honest, it's the whole reason I got it was because of the cover. On top of that, uh, I just need to let you guys know, um, uh, me and Kirk follow each other. We're not two people who talk all the time. We're not friends. We're not buddies. Uh, there's no bias here. Uh, I was actually really surprised at how good the book was only because I'd never heard of this author before other than knowing him from Twitter. He posts, you know, every now and again he'll post something funny. I'll like it. You know, he does the same thing. He reciprocates uh, over on my side. If I post something he likes, he likes it. That kind of thing. Um, but there, there's no bias going in here. I don't owe him anything, even though he did say he picked up one of my books. If he reads it, that's fine. I just hope that he gives the same honest review that I am giving for his book. Uh, this is easily one of my favorite books of this year, and probably one of my favorite books 
out of last year also. And I say that because that last year's, even though I read some terrific books last year, this book was better than uh, probably two of the books on my best of list from last year. So it's probably it's one of the best books I've read in the past two years. Um, now I'm not going to do a spoiler section at the end of this video for one main reason. Y'all watch these damn things. For some odd reason, even though you haven't read the book, and I figured that out a long time ago, but I put them there anyways, uh, just because there are certain people who will click away, and there is a huge subset of people who get upset with me for not talking about the details of the book. This time, you're just going to have to be mad at me because I'm not going into the details of the book whatsoever. I want you to experience this um, at completely... Uh, new to this book, I want you to jump into it and just start reading. In fact, I don't even I don't even suggest you go and pick up the uh, go and read the description. Um, I want you to go and buy the book um, if it's on. I think it's available on Kindle Unlimited also, so you can basically read it for free. I say read it for free because the service itself is uh, nine ninety nine a month. Uh, if it's not on there, I mean the book. I don't think the book's more than two ninety nine electronic copy. Give it a shot. I mean, if nothing else, open it up on the look inside and see if the writing is your kind of thing. But keep in mind, it's fucking weird. Um, but that's what makes it so good for me. Um, in fact, I would go as far as saying if you're one of those people who didn't like Stephen King's The Regulators, these two books have nothing to do with each other. Let's get that out of the way. If you're someone who didn't like Stephen King's The Regulators, you probably won't like this book. It does go some very strange places, but that's why I adored it so much in my little black heart. Anyways, have you got, has anybody out there, has anybody else read Aether Christ? If you have, let me know down there in the comments below. Tell me if you liked it. If you liked it, tell me what you did like. If you didn't like it, please tell me what you didn't like. Don't just come on here and go, oh my god, it sucks, this is the horrible thing I ever read. Don't say that. Tell me why you didn't like it. Maybe, you know, maybe I see your point. Maybe you see mine. Maybe you know, we have a conversation. How about that shit? But until next time, I have been E, you have been you. This has been another book review. I'll talk to you guys later. Bye-bye!